sharing with one participant. Today we're going to be talking about the 203K FHA. My name is Mark Giles, and I want to just give you a disclaimer. The video presentations are for educational and entertainment purposes only. It is not for legal or financial advice. Consult your accountant lawyers for that. Any purposes, any results demonstrated in these videos are, are not always guaranteed. You must apply and qualify. There's no offer to lend, and there's no commitment to lend. So let's continue. So this week's topic, we're going to be talking about the 203K, the FHA 203K loan. It's a wonderful loan. It enables you to buy a house and also to uh, fix it up with one loan. And so let's get started. I'm going to share the screen. Okay, this week's topic, we're going to talk about the how to get a, home, a loan to buy and fix any home. As a first time home buyer, you can buy this house. We have some for investors as well, but primarily we're going to be talking about the FHA 203k is for buying a house, moving into it and fixing it up. So the question is, what is a 203k loan? And how can what can I do with the 203k loan? and how to apply for the 203k loan. But before we get started, I want to let you know that this presentation is brought to you by the Center for Home Ownership and Community Enterprise. It's a non-for-profit, and we are committed to helping you live an independent, dignified lifestyle, earn your money, and live the lifestyle that you want to live by providing you the information that you can take advantage of and act on today. My name is Mark Giles. I'm going to be your host. I am a licensed mortgage loan originator. I've been doing loans and real estate financing for over 20 years, really good at it, a licensed realtor and insurance agent as well. And I'm really excited to be here because my passion is to educate home buyers, prospective home buyers, investors, and business owners so that we can take our game to the next level. If you have any questions during this presentation, please be sure and make a chat, hit the chat box, and I will respond to your question. So let's dive right in and get started. What is a 203k loan? Well, a 203k loan is a loan that you can utilize to purchase a property, a one to four family house in the United States, right? I primarily work in the Northeast, New York, Connecticut, and New Jersey, but you can buy, uh, get, buy a house with a 203k loan. And it not only includes the price of the home, but it also gives you extra money to do repairs for the home. This is an exciting loan, especially in this time when homes are selling for top dollar, you can start looking for homes that are priced lower foreclosures, uh, distressed properties, things like that. And you can get the money that you can uh, use to fix the house up and make it the way you want it to be. It allows you to borrow money on the future value of your home. And that's exciting because even though you're buying a house for $100,000 that's in a distressed situation, the bank will understand that after you do all of this work to it, it's going to be worth 200, 300, 400,000, whatever it'll be worth when you're completed. So they take into account all of the upgrades and the repairs that you're gonna put into this property. So a lot of people ask, I speak to people every day asking questions about buying houses and getting loans. What can I do with a 203K loan? That's an excellent question. A 203K loan can be used for updating, modernizing your house. It doesn't just have to be about fixing broken things about the house. You can use it to, for a total renovation of your home. You can, uh, you're able to combine the renovation costs and the first mortgage with a fixed rate, 30 year fixed rate interest rate. Uh, and you'll still take advantage of today's low rates because the rates are still uh, advantageous. And I know this because I check out rates every day. So 203K is what you wanna consider if you have been out there shopping and you're looking and looking and looking, or you're seeing homes that you know could be nice if they had a little bit of this and a little bit of that, maybe a new kitchen, new bathroom, maybe just a paint job, some new carpeting. It doesn't have to be a totally distressed property. It could be a nice property, just needs some modernizing and updating. So the loan amount is based on the appraised value of the home. What does that mean? We have another video about what is an appraisal. You might wanna check that out. But right now, uh, we're gonna tell you that when the appraiser goes to the house, he's going to tell you what the value of the house is. So if you're buying the house from somebody, you wanna know that you're getting a fair deal. 
And so if the house is in the distressed situation, the appraiser will tell you not only what the house is worth now, but what the house will be worth after the repairs are done. So what type of repairs are allowed with a 203K loan? You can do just about anything with a 203K loan. There are some restrictions, but the amount of things that you can do is astronomical. It's beautiful, okay? You can do major rehabilitation and the structural repairs, right? So if you wanna fix uh, walls, replace windows, um, new kitchen, new bathrooms, that be con considered major rehabilitation. Uh, even if you wanna just bring them up to speed, you can gut the whole wall out, take it out, and put in a new wall. Uh, renovations that require detailed architectural drawings can also be done. So sometimes when you're doing renovation work to your house, you have to consult the the uh, the local county and get get permission to do these kind of repairs. And sometimes you're going to need an architect. That's no problem. With the 203k would uh, facilitate financing all of that. So no matter what you want to do. Recently, we had a lady in uh, Queens, New York. She purchased a one family home and converted it to a two family home. That's exciting because uh, the house she was buying was well, she kind of bought it a little bit below market value, but two family homes were priced maybe three, four, four hundred thousand dollars more. So she bought her house in the high four hundred thousand dollar range. After she's finished, this house is worth the high nine hundred thousand dollar range because of the way pricing is structured in Queens right now. So you can do things that will improve the value of the house major landscape work, site improvements, elimination of safety or health hazards. So somehow some houses we've had people purchase and get rid of the mold infestation or get rid of the um, uh, asbestos, things like that. You can change the plumbing, change the electrical. You can do a new addition uh, for your construction. You can even do site amenity improvements such as just like landscaping. If you just wanna make the whole outside of the house beautiful, that's what you wanna utilize. Uh, to live by the house that you want to have, to create the, the lifestyle you want to have. Okay, so repair work that will require two or three months uh, or more uh, than payments per specialized contractor. So what we're saying here is that you can actually borrow money to make the payments on the house while the work is being done on the house. So we've done that also where uh, you know that your client, when you are... Um, going to do this work, let's say you're putting in a new kitchen, new bath, and your contract is telling you that it's going to take six months. You don't want to have to pay for your current apartment because you can't move in right away and pay for the house at the same time. So you can actually add your monthly payments for the uh, mortgage into the loan. That's fascinating. Now, you can do a streamlined 203K. What that means is you're going to borrow a small amount, usually less than $30,000. That way, if you do a streamline, you won't need a uh, licensed contractor, uh, you won't need a, uh, you won't need to do a majority of the paperwork that is required with a full blown 203k. The streamline is designed for you to be able to get the money and do the work uh, yourself, basically, all right, with a contractor that you chose. And the good news about the 203k is that you get to hire a contractor of your choice. As long as your contractor is licensed, bonded, and insured, and they understand how the 203K works. They're willing to fill out all of the paperwork and do the work, uh, the paperwork that is needed to be done in order to uh, facilitate the, your transaction. You can choose the contractor of your choice. You can actually replace or repair HVA system, HVAC systems. That's your air ducts. So if you wanted to put a, a, a air conditioning system into the house that doesn't have one, or even repair a, a air conditioning system that blows air throughout the house. You can do all of that with the 203K. You can repair roofs, gutters, downsprouts, uh, replace, fix all of your plumbing problems and even your electrical problems. It's a wonderful tool. I've been doing this over 20 years and I've seen some people really do some amazing things with this loan and create the lifestyle that they want to live. Once again, you can update your floor, your flooring treatments, interior, exterior painting, update appliances. You can do as little or as much as you like. Waterproof your basement, weatherization. You can even fix your doors, windows, replace them, or just upgrade them. And this is on any house that you want to purchase. You can do all of this work with as long as 
long as the house is eligible for an FHA, which is usually a one to four family house, you can uh, do a 203k loan and um, get your house uh, up to specs the way you want it to be. So you can enhance your home accessibility. There are some people who have um, people with handicap needs, special needs, and you, you wanted to update the house to meet their needs, you can do that. You can make your house um, energy efficient. That's a wonderful product to use your, to make your house energy efficient so that you're burning less electricity. And in the wintertime, the, the heating is maximized. And in the summertime, the cooling is maximized. You can replace your home's exterior, make energy efficient improvements, installing septic systems or a well, or even fixing them, improving them. So many different things you can do. This is just food for thought. You don't have to do all of this stuff, but just want to give you some ideas of what's possible. How to apply for the 203k loan? Well, you're going to need a lender who is uh, th that offers it. Not every lender offers 203k loans. I've been personally doing 203k loans for a long time, very knowledgeable about it. Um, this is about education. It's not about selling you a 203k loan. I'm just here to uh, impart the knowledge of how this works with you. Now, credit score. Typically, the 203k loan will have a minimum credit score. FHA technically goes down to 500. The 203K, a lot of lenders will place uh, uh, credit limits in terms of how low your credit score could go. I'm not gonna talk about exact number because this is a video and things change with the guidelines. So hit me up, text me, email me. I'll be more than happy to share with you at the time you see this video, uh, what the credit minimum credit scores requirements are. But uh, right now, I think they're in the low 600s, high fives, low 600s, depending on which lender we use. All right, so down payment is still as low as 3.5%. That's incredible. So if you're buying, buying a, a house for $300,000 and you wanted to borrow an additional $100,000 to do repairs, that means you would be, uh, let's say your new loan amount is $400,000. That means you can do a $400,000 purchase with as little as $14,000 down because the down payment is three and a half percent. So for every $100,000 is $3,500 down. If you found a house that you could buy for $100,000, the down payment is $3,500. So this still, this beautiful low down payment still applies for the 203k loan. It's an excellent tool to create the lifestyle that you wanna live for you and your family. So you always wanna to speak to a licensed loan lending officer or lending uh, originator today about the 203K approval. Like I said, not all lenders do it. I specialize in it. I happen to know a lot about it. You wanna work with somebody who does have a, a good knowledge of the product because when you're doing a 203K, you're gonna have a contractor, you're gonna need a HUD consultant and there's a lot of paperwork involved. So you're gonna need somebody to kind of hold your hand to make sure that all of the repairs that you are wanting to have done to this house are going to be spe specified correctly before you close. The closing is the day you get the keys to your house. But you wanna make sure everything is done the way you want it to be done. And you also wanna work with a real estate professional who is knowledgeable about these programs. And a lot of times you'll have real estate professionals who are not knowledgeable about it. So you, your loan officer should be prepared or your loan originator should be prepared to educate the realtor about how this works so it can be a smooth, easy process. A lot of, there's been a lot of rumors, a lot of myths about how long these programs take. Yes, they can typically take a little longer than a regular mortgage because you do have a contractor that you need to bring into the mix and you have a HUD consultant that you're gonna bring into the mix. The HUD consultant's job is to make sure that the contractor is not overcharging you, number one. Also, number two, the HUD consultant's job is to make sure that he's not undercharging you. A lot of contractors will come and bid on a job and underbid in order to get the job, but only to realize that they cannot afford to do the work because it's priced so low. So they'll go take a job across town while they're working on your job to make up for the lost income from your job. Therefore, your project takes longer. This program is designed to avoid that. The 203k is designed so that the contractor can uh, be supervised so that he's charging enough to get the job done and also he's getting the job done. 
It's also, the 203K is also designed so that the contractor does not get paid until the job is done. That avoids the contractor slipping out in the middle of the night and you being left with a job half done. Nobody wants to be left in that situation. Anybody who's experienced that has no, knows the pain of working with a contractor who's not, not, um, not uh, what would you say, reliable, okay? So the 203K will make sure that the job gets done, that the job is specified and that it's done on time. And that if the contractor should disappear in the middle of the night, your HUD consultant is there to make sure that we hire a next contractor to follow the same exact plan that was designed in the beginning to finish it in a timely manner. And then the contractor gets paid once the job is done. So what that means is your contractor has to be financially sound because they're gonna come in, they're gonna do the work and then they're gonna get paid afterwards. So they need to have enough finances to uh, make sure that they can come in, buy the materials, put, do the job, finish it and then get paid. That's how uh, you are, you'll be very successful with the 203K loan. So when you're finding a property that needs repair work, your realtor, like we said, may not be totally knowledgeable about the 203K, but you need a loan originator like myself who's gonna to explain to them the process and include the realtor in so that we can get all of this done in a timely manner and assure the realtor and the seller that this is not going to take forever because we're organized, we're focused, we have everything in order to get the job done, okay? So you're gonna need an inspection. Number four here says you're gonna obtain an inspection and estimates from a rep reputable contractor. So once again, reputable, licensed, bonded, insured contractor, that's what you want. And uh, when they come in, so what you'll probably do first is you'll find the house, you'll have an engineer inspection. The engineer will go in the house, he'll find out all of the different things that need to be done. And then you'll have a next list of things that you want to have done, right? So you have your needs list, then you have your wants list, and then you have a budget so let's say you want to borrow $150,000 and you're going to make out your list with the engineer. Then you're going to bring your contractor in. The contractor is going to tell you what the cost of getting these items done will be. As far as, so he's going to give you his quote, but it's going to be in written form. It's going to be line by line item. Then you're going to take that form and you're going to give it to the HUD consultant. The HUD consultant's job is once again, like we said, to make sure that the contract is not overcharging you or undercharging you because we don't want a, a contractor promising something that he can't deliver because he didn't charge you enough. That's not cool. So you're gonna get the right price, a fair price for the amount of work that needs to be done. And once we get all of the other items done, we can close the deal. Once the deal is closed, that's the day you go to the closing, you get the keys to the house, the seller gets the money from the money that you borrow from the lender and the HUD consultant is gonna hold on to the cash that is going to be used to pay the contractor. The HUD consultant is going to be there to supervise. Well, when I say supervise, he's going to look over the contractor's shoulder as the work is being done, not every day, but he'll come out. Once the first uh, section of the work is done, so they'll break it down. Sometimes they break it into four, five, seven different sections. So when the contractor says, okay, section one is done, the HUD consultant comes out, looks at it, make sure you're satisfied, he's satisfied, then the payment is made to the contractor so the contractor can go on to phase two. Once then the contractor completes phase two, calls the HUD consultant, HUD consultant comes out, looks at the work, he likes it, you like it, contractor gets paid and he can go on to phase three and you keep going until all of the work is done, you're happy, HUD consultant's happy, then the contractor's happy because he got paid and then that's it, your house is beautiful, and you move on to the next, the next section of uh, your life, right? So the process, you're gonna select the contractor and finalize your estimate. You're gonna order an appraisal. So once the contractor writes down all of the work he's gonna do, you're gonna order an appraisal, right? So no matter whether you are doing a 203K or not, you're always gonna have to order an appraisal when you're buying a house. So the appraiser is not gonna just look at the house now, he's gonna look at the, the work that the contractor has uh, written up that he's gonna do. So based on that, the appraiser can tell us what the value of the house is right now in disrepair. And he's gonna look at the work to be done and he's gonna say, okay, if these 
if this work is done to this property, the appraised value is going to be higher. This is what it's going to be after completion. And that is going to tell you that doing this work is worth doing the work. All right, because you don't want to do a whole lot of work to a house if it's not going to at least bring up the value a little bit. So number seven, you're going to stay in contact with your lender and the contractor ensuring all the miles, milestones are met during the, uh, the process, which means the paperwork, a lot of paperwork to get a 203K done. But if you have a good contractor who understands how to do the paperwork and they enjoy doing the paperwork, which is very important, because a lot of contractors do not like doing paperwork. From my experience, I could be wrong, but from my experience, a lot of contractors just want to write a number on a napkin and tell you, okay, give me my money and I'll get started. But with this project here, we're going line by line items, very detailed. We want to know what's going into this kitchen, what's going to cost each item. So you'll be very knowledgeable about what you're paying for. So if you get a good contractor who's used to doing that, they have a, usually have a project manager who handles the paperwork for them. You can get through it very quickly. Okay, next thing, last thing, once you get all of that done, the appraisal is done, um, you're moving into your dream home. That is an exciting time. And uh, we've had a lot of success with people. Um, I've had a lot of uh, single people who've done it, single moms who've gotten 203Ks and actually done a wonderful job on the next, uh, the next, we're going to do another series on this 203K. I'm going to show you a case study of a house that we did. We lent uh, a client in Queens, and she was able to not only buy the house, but take a one family house and convert it to a two family, right? We'll have the videos and everything for you next week, and I'll show you how that, how that panned out, how much we lent her, how it looked in the beginning, what they did, and how they got to where they are now. The job is completed very successfully. She's excited. I'm excited. It was a great project. So um, how do I know if my property is eligible for a 203K loan? <clears throat> well, I can tell you, most properties are gonna be eligible as long as they're residential. When we're completed, it should be a one, two, three, or four family house. So if you're buying a uh, one family house and you wanna convert it to a two, that's fine. If you're buying a four family house and you wanna convert it to a five, that's not good because it's not a residential. We want to stick to one to four family properties. Now, if you're buying a five family and you want to convert it to a four, that makes sense because that's a one to four family unit, right? Mixed use property, you want to convert it to a one family or two family, that's fine. But once again, give me a call, check me out, and I will um, guide you through it step by step or find a professional in your area who can do it for you, a mortgage loan originator who's really knowledgeable about the 203Ks and get all your answers for your situation. Now let's talk about some of the pros and cons of the 203K loan. Okay, some of the pros, you get a low down payment, still doing it with three and a half percent down. You got a lower interest rate because of the, on the renovations. Because if you go to a hard money lender or uh, if you even take credit card, you go down to Home Depot and, and get a Home Depot credit card, the interest rates over there. Well, I don't know, I'm not gonna quote their rates, but I know they're not, uh, as low as the, the 203k mortgage rates. That's a fact, right? It might like be like four or five times higher. So you got a good rate, 30 year fixed, and it's a, a loan that is withstand the test of time in terms of people buying renovation properties and fixing them up. Uh, equity could be yours at the onset. So with the 203k loan, you're buying a house usually less, less um, a little less than market value, hopefully. But uh, even if you buy it at market value and you're totally renovating it with a 203K loan, chances are it's gonna be worth more, right? You'll know this when you look at the property and then you get an appraiser to come and look at the property for you. Uh, another thing, it's your house, it's your way, your colors, your style. You're actually turning it into what you want it to be. And that's a beautiful uh, uh, thing that you can create in your life. And then of course you have your tax savings. The tax savings for home ownership is just wonderful, all right? So owning a home in America is just really helpful then compared to renting. You got no tax savings renting because all of your money is going to the landlord, pay his mortgage so he can get the tax savings. Okay, the cons, you're on a timeline. So when you get the 203K loan, like we said, you're going to have to line item every item that you want. Uh, you're going to have to get the work done in a period of time. That's That's 
something that you're going to need to stay focused on. Even when you are getting the mortgage, a lot of the realtors are concerned about 203Ks because in their mind, it takes a long time. Why? Because people don't follow the formula. For example, I've had uh, people come to me after they went through 10 contractors. They went through 10 contractors and were, were unable to actually get the process started. Why? Because they were going to the wrong contractors. A lot of times you'll go to a contractor and they'll go to the house and then you'll ask them to do a write-up and all of this. And then the contractor is not used to or knowledgeable about how this particular loan works. They get a little spooked because they think they're going to do all of this work up front for free, do all of this written work for you, paperwork and everything. And then you're just going to go off to the next contractor. That's the biggest complaint I've gotten from different contractors. And they'll just leave you high and dry. And so what you want to do is you want to be able to start off with a really good 203K contractor who knows how this works. They understand how it works. They like how it works. And they do these back to back. They really enjoy doing it. Those are the guys you want to work with. If we're working with a good team, teamwork makes the dream work. If you're working with a good team, we're going to get through the 203K relatively quickly on time. But if you don't follow the formula properly, yes, sticking to a timeline could be a very um, challenging thing. And the realtors don't like that because and the sellers don't like it. Sellers have their timeline. You have your timeline. We all want things done in a certain period of time. So that can be alleviated if we just follow the format. All right, you need to know what you want. That could be a con because sometimes people don't know what they want. You know, they're not sure what color they want. And, you know, sometimes you need somebody to help you with that. All right. And the next thing is you will need help. All right. So you need a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Here in New York, you're going to need an attorney. Uh, you're going to hire an engineer. You're going to hire a contractor. You're going to hire a mortgage loan officer, a real estate agent, and you're going to need a the HUD consultant, right? That's like six or seven people just right there, not to mention title company. But I tell you what, when you get with the right team, everything kind of clicks and it goes your way. So don't worry about that because uh, you will get the help you need. But make sure that you're working with somebody who understands how this process goes, that they can show you projects that they worked on that were successful, even past customers who will have good things to say about them and, um, and that they have had good experiences. All right. So I think that's about it. So we're going to wrap it up. If you have any questions, you can always call me, email me, text me. I'm always available. If I don't pick up the phone because I'm sleeping, because I'm sleeping, but just give me a shout. I'd love to work with you and answer your questions. And so you always want to work with a real estate professional uh, working with a, and a qualified mortgage loan originator like myself so we can answer your questions and help you get the job done. Because I could sit here for hours and talk about what I can do, but what's more important is what I can do for you. So give me a call, check me out. And we do all our business by referral, so definitely hit me up. And once again, this was brought to you by the uh, Center for Home Ownership and Community Enterprise, non for profit. And the purpose of our organization is to help you live an independent, dignified lifestyle and, of course, make the money you want to make in life. Uh, I want to say thank you again. And uh, if you have any questions, you can bring them on right now. Otherwise, we'll hit you up next Thursday. I'll see you for our next course. Uh, actually, we're going to do part two of this. And in the part two, I'm going to show you some of the um, people that we've helped and some of the things that that uh, that they were successful with, with the 203K, the before and after pictures and all of that. All right, so thank you again and have a great evening. Talk to you next week. Stop and share. Yes, and in.